Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be talking about these two headsets, comparing them, talking about the pros and cons of them. Okay, this is the Triton, I believe they're called the Detonators, which is right there, I believe. Then we got the Turtle Beach X32s. They're completely wireless except for the chat cable, of course. Here's the box for that. Alright, first I'll talk about what came with the Tritons. The Tritons came with the mic, came with the chat cable, right here, which this is my favorite part about it, because it's one of the ones that plugs into the controller like so, like this. It plugs in like that, versus... Plugging in just like the one little port. This won't turn or anything. It's sturdy and it's nice. It won't plug. Come unplugged if you drop your controller or anything. Alright, so other things that came with the Tritons it came with this, which is if you use HDMI, you can plug this into the back of your, back of your Xbox and plug the left and right audio cables into it, which is pretty nice because most headsets don't come with that. For 70 bucks is a pretty good deal. Alright, moving on to the Turtle Beaches. These came with the receiver, which is plugged in. I didn't feel like I'm plugging it. And the chat cable, which was, isn't a very complex chat cable. I don't really like it. It's okay. Have your game volume and then your mute. I mean your game chat and then your mute. Came with a... It's wireless, therefore it takes triple A's. I have rechargeables. Has a bunch of little buttons for different presets and stuff. The game volume. Effects. Then the thing where the chat cable plugs into. And the tone. Okay, so my least, here's my favorite thing about the Tritons. They're so super comfy, like, they're, this is the comfiest headset, headset I've ever worn, like, straight up. And, because this is, like, this rubber stuff, it's just, like, really comfy. They fit perfect, like, they hug your head so they will not fall off. They look so nice. They're huge, like, you can adjust, like, if you have a big head, small head, they'll fit you. That's one of my favorite things about them. Um, another cool thing... The mic comes unplugged. So, if you're just one of those people that don't like to talk, go ahead and unplug your mic. You can do that. And then, my least favorite thing, the mic is terrible. It is, like, you have to talk so loud to get this thing to pick up your voice. Which is weird. Because, you pay that much for a headset, they're supposed to have, like... Pretty sensitive mics. Moving on to the Turtle Beaches. The this mic is wonderful. Like this mic is so sensitive. I just love it because you can adjust it. Like the it's just so nice. The only thing bad about it is it runs out of battery so quick, and they go out. Like the chat cable. This is my second pair. The chat cable went out on both pairs. So, well, it's not, it hasn't went out yet, but it's going out. Um, they're really comfy also, but the downside is the, the biggest you can make them is like, fits my head, and it barely fits my head. I have a, I don't even have a big head is the bad thing. I don't even know. Like, I can't, like, if you have a big head, don't buy these. It's terrible. Buy these. These are wonderful. These are good for if I'm playing with these and they go dead, I'll hurry up and switch to these because it's a pain to have to switch the batteries. It's better to just hurry up and plug in this chat cable. It's just, it's easier. So overall, if you're looking for something to just sound whore with and play long sessions and not talk, I'd go with these. Nice little ear cups. And then, 
if you like to talk, if you're one of the people that talk a lot and everybody mutes you, go ahead and get these. It's really nice. These were $99 at Walmart, and these were $69.99 at GameStop. If you have any other questions, don't be afraid to comment or inbox me. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, oh well. This is Cry Voltage, and I'm out.